Welcome, today's recipe will be this delicious crispy fried chicken and let's get started. For this particular recipe, I used one whole chicken and I removed the skin from the chicken. Let's get to the seasoning. I have one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of salt as well, and about three quarter teaspoon of black pepper, and also one teaspoon of garlic powder. Next ingredient is totally optional, but I'll highly recommend it because it is a game changer. You can use any chicken seasoning. I am using Royco Cube chicken flavor. You can also use the Maggi's. I have crushed it and I'm going to mix all these seasonings together. One reason why I love to mix all the seasonings together is to ensure that they are mixed evenly and also when it comes to marinating your chicken, you can be assured that all your seasonings are evenly distributed. Not forgetting the situation where you have one piece of chicken has a lot of paprika, another one has black pepper, so this is something very good. So go ahead and mix everything together. Once that is done, set aside, you can marinate it for 30 minutes or you can use it immediately. Now I'm using four eggs. You can use three eggs. Then proceed to add another optional ingredient and that is milk and you can also add some buttermilk. Then mix it all together. Now for this particular recipe I used breadcrumbs and all-purpose flour. If you don't have breadcrumbs please don't beat yourself just use the flour the results are equally beautiful. Now I'm going to add some salt, black pepper and also some thyme to my flour because thyme has a beautiful flavor and it also goes perfectly well with chicken. Now let's get to work. By the way, I've removed the skin from my chicken, but you can always leave yours. And I start with coating the chicken with the flour first, but sometimes people dip it in the egg first and then coat it with the flour. So that is just according to your preference, but I prefer that method. After coating it with the egg wash, then I'm going to coat it with the breadcrumbs. The reason why I coated it first with the flour is to avoid that clumpiness when I do it on the egg wash. Now you can see the results evenly coated. And using the same method, proceed to do the rest of the chicken pieces. Now this is how I like to test if my oil is hot enough. And I use a wooden spoon and when you see bubbles coming around, then you know it is hot enough. Now you don't want it to be too hot because the chicken will brown on the outside and burn and not cook on the inside. So you want to make sure that you get your temperatures right. Also make sure that you do not overcrowd to ensure that your oil temperature is maintained. And um, I've done this for about 8 to 10 minutes. My 8 to 10 minutes rule gives me the confidence that the chicken has cooked really well on the inside. Once that is done, place them on your kitchen paper towel to ensure that they drain excess oil. And that is just how easy and fast it is to make the fried chicken. And remember, you don't have to use breadcrumbs if you don't have, because sometimes I run out of breadcrumbs and I just use flour and the results are equally beautiful. Look at that golden brown. It was so crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Please share this recipe with your friends and family. And I hope you enjoy it as much as I did. There's the chicken. You can see it cooked perfectly well on the inside as well very juicy not dry so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel as well till next time bye bye